Good afternoon, fellow patriots and defenders of democracy. Welcome to the madness. My name is Beverton, and we're here trying to learn things. And we all start off from somewhere. So we're at somewhere starting off. <coughs> Let me see who's it. Who should I ignore here? Let's get back to acting like I have sense and I don't curse a lot. But anyway, so this is Filthy Engine. Filthy Engine has a lot of uh, wiring ports and areas on it. Areas that I don't know anything about. So, taking my time to uh, mark some things before I start pulling everything off and then being incapable of identifying what's what. Uh, yes, the last video I left off. I told you I was going to go test the, uh, the doohickey that makes the sparky sparks. Uh, let me stop talking like a child. Anyway, tested the alternator, tested the starter, and they both operate. They're both functional, so we need to ensure that happens. I'm not paying attention because it's a colorful kind of thing, but anyway, so we're going to go through here, try to pull things off, mark things, and try to clean this up. I mean, that's basically the agenda, so we're going to put you down, and I'm going to proceed to do that. Hope you're having a good day. Oh, it don't look too bad. No, I don't know where, if we see in this, uh, what in the, okay. Can, can you see it? No? All right, I think I might have just wasted our time. Either way. <sighs> Moving right along. thing is left on that side and this thing is in the way and in the way
That's goddamn gross. So, here's the top half of this, and it is relatively filthy, as you can see. Mysteriously, though, I don't know if you can, come on. Come on, you stupid thing. And it keeps not doing that. Anyway. What I am highlighting is, it is clean under here. Uh, there is this thing here. I've never seen it before, and I watched many of people clean or pull these things off. I guess the wonderful question for everyone and anything is, should I be replacing these gaskets? It seems like everyone is saying no, and then some people are saying yes, and there is always a conflict within every damn thing. Um, this is the top of this. Uh, this isn't as filthy as I normally see it. And I need to have one of those professionals tell me what to happen. This is the thing I need to disable. It's relatively grimy and filthy looking up here. It's like I don't know how this much dirt got up there, but it's an old vehicle. Things happen. I need to take out that, and then this one, uh, let me see, what did I forget, I need to get a puller, because I think I pulled, I destroyed the one I have, so can't take off this assembly because there's a couple of bolts behind it. One, two, well, there's two of them. There's two or three of them behind there. There's two or three of them behind this. And then another pulley puller for this. And then, uh, yeah. That's going on there. Host of other things. It's just a filthy engine. Oh, I guess we could open it. I want to open the top of this since it's so damn dirty. Yeah. Give me a second. And we spared you the notion of the fumbling around looking for stuff so we can both see what's going on in here. you go in there. Aluminum alloy 3A.
Hold on. Let me go get a light. So people can look in here and then tell me blah blah blah. So this is what's in here. Looks like something dropped in there. Something else. I don't know what the hell that is, but this shit don't look don't look too bad. Well, I guess you just never know. For some reason, I think that other bank looks better than this one. Messing with the shit. Yeah, there we go. It's getting ready to rain and uh, sweating my ass off. So, uh, next time I'll probably clean this bad boy up and you'll see the after effects of that. And we'll progress from there. I'm certainly not interested in an old bo engine block, but oh, yeah, the other part to it. I labeled all of these wonderful things and took pictures of them because, like I told you, I don't know what half of them. I don't know what they are. We'll figure that out as it all comes together, but we have them all marked in the event we decide to go down the rabbit hole of reworking the harness and uh, having all the things that we need and well, knowing where the things belong. But thanks for checking me out, man. So until next time.